Guys, I literally just hit record and I think I got a tiger muskie. First cast, guys, at my local lake up on the shoreline, I got a great big tiger muskie. I can't even believe it. You heard me probably say, oh my gosh. And not only that, guys, this got tilted. I'm all jacked up and the first cast right up here at my local lake, I got a big old tiger muskie. I can't believe it. Either that is a big snakehead. I'm pretty sure this is a tiger muskie. I just got the drag loosened up because it is a big one. Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. Good to see you all. I'm out here on a gorgeous day and it is a tiger muskie. Insane. It's a big one too. Holy crap. I can't believe it. I just cast it up there. I think the chesty had the cast or I had just started recording and sure enough this thing hits what a way to start the day what a beauty guys this is a gorgeous tiger muskie i have no line in its mouth what ought i do here should i net it i don't want to hurt the fish these are really special fish out here and this is a pretty good size one i'm going to go ahead and get underneath its gill and be really gentle with it guys i cannot believe this unreal what a way to start the day a big old tiger muskie on go figure the finch nasty nasty thumper vibrating jig three eighths ounce green pumpkin lake fort guide magic shad and i'm struggling here but i'm gonna get him i know i'm gonna get him he's hooked he's so well hooked perfectly hooked let's get a little more line so i can get in a little closer i got the net folks i got the net but i'm just not going to do it to it i don't want to get it slime all jacked up i think you all can appreciate that but i'll go that way with it <laughs> how about that for a tiger musky and a way to start the day guys i don't know where how the angle is on that i didn't get things adjusted but tell me, that's not a beautiful, beautiful tiger muskie on the Finch Nasty. Nasty Thumper vibrating jig. One of my favorite vibrating jigs out there. Absolutely insane. Let's get the angles right on this sun so I can get a couple pictures and I'll be right back to you. Folks, I don't know what to tell you. That is one heck of a way to start the day. I'm just, I, it happened so fast. I didn't even have a chance to react. I came out here with a frog for some snakeheads. I came out here with all the bass gear that I need and that's why I didn't put them in the net. These things are feisty, but I want to get them back quick. Had them in the water there a couple times, make sure he's fresh and healthy and he's going back amazing way to start the day here in my local lake wow all right i didn't even have time to process what just happened there that was absolutely insane first cast with the green pumpkin three eighths ounce finch nasty nasty thumper vibrating jig black nickel blade and uh that's a lake fork guide magic shad and green pumpkin with a dipped chartreuse tail looking like a bluegill up here shallow where everything's swimming from the spawning bass to the pre-spawn bass probably some done there's snakeheads all up here in front of me in this thick heavy stuff this lake's got all kinds of great things to offer and sure enough a tiger muskie decided to be the first candidate of the day so we're going to be uh casting and winding chucking and winding i got some beautiful beautiful weather and the wind is blowing so 65 degree water temps and a 75 degree day even though it's kind of bluebird skies the wind is here so i'm looking forward to an awesome day of fishing out here in my local lake Uh-oh, I think I, there it is. Oh, guys, I had a snakehead just pop this frog. I thought if I started off with a toothy critter, might as well finish. Oh, no, I should go for a second one. And that was definitely a snakehead. I saw him waking on it. It's like a little pad crasher in white. 50-pound test braid and big old meat stick of a flipping stick. And he definitely, definitely took a bite at it. Oh, my gosh. Great big giant snakehead just ate this thing, guys, and I missed them. It figures though, I mean, they're hard to hook, but look at that, guys. I've only been going at it for a minute, and that was a great big one. Holy crap, can you imagine the tiger muskie and the second fish being a big old snakehead? They're not easy to hook, man, and he did every kind of damage to it, and I gave it to him. I gave it to him, I felt him for a minute, but I'm gonna try it again. I can't guarantee I'm gonna get him another time, but why not? Let's give it a shot. Man, he f just destroyed it absolutely incredible but they're more in here all i'm doing is fishing literally right up on the bank i ain't messing around i'm getting right up in this i have the boats turned around the wrong way because of the uh wind so i got the spot lock on and i'm able to get oh two of them guys holy hell dude i'm telling you right now i got two snakeheads big ones eyeing this thing oh my gosh i am i can't believe what i'm looking at i had to two followers right here let's see what they want to come up and eat again that was incredible what in the heck is going on today guys i got all kinds of predators eating my stuff so i know i know i know that there's a bunch of snakeheads up on these banks so i'm just going to beat these banks for a little bit until i get to this area where i know i'm going to do some fun bass fishing but good gracious that was an incredible bite 
I gotta stop talking and start concentrating. See if I can put one in them next time. Oh my gosh, gracious golly, holy moly. <laughs> well, how many adjectives can I use? I got smashed, dude. Same bait, guys, but it's been a while. I mean, I, I had that snakehead blow up on my, uh, oh, it's a nice bass. I had that snakehead blow up on my uh, frog. I haven't had anything since, it's been a while. Just threw over to this point, got this great, big, beautiful largemouth on the same finch nasty, nasty snub. He's not huge, but man, he is pulling hard. Nice fish, nice, nice fish. Thought he was a lot bigger than that, but I'll take him for the first bass of the day. <laughs> a lot smaller than I thought he was. That's what happens when you don't have a bass for about two hours, guys. The spawn is on, and right now, the bass are really, really locked up. There's only a handful of them out here, I'm guessing, just roaming, and I just got one right there. So let's throw just a little bit more of the wind still up. Let's just keep on rolling, see what we can do. Oh, baby, I love it when a plan comes together. All right, got myself a drop shot fish. Figures, look at this beautiful day. Almost too nice <laughs> to do bass fishing, but I got myself another one, and it's on the drop shot, on a main lake point over here, and I'm happy as I could be about it. Let me get him in here. First cast on it, too. Look at that. All right, number two bass. It's been slow, but it's been some action, so I'm happy about it. There we go. Nothing huge, but going back amazingly amazingly it's already 67 degree water temps out here i saw water temps as warm as 69 degrees in the back of a cove so these fish there's plenty of fish that are post spawn right now and i'm guessing fishing off this little point right here that's what i'm dealing with so we're going to pluck them off as best we can with this little finesse routine and as the sun dips a little bit we'll see maybe we'll uh get back up on the banks and chuck a frog around so you can find another snakehead or who knows what Mm, right on a bed guys right on a bed saw it hit the brakes and i got a nice one right here i mean he ate it the second it must have dropped on the bed nice little fish three bass i'm real happy about that considering the way things were gonna go and this is a good one and that is a bed fish didn't see him eat it saw the bed never even saw the fish just saw the light spot and dropped it right on its head obviously and he ate it nice shoulders on them that's what they're doing they are definitely up there doing the thing looks like a buck bass that's how well he ate it there. All right, cool. So three bass in, let's keep going. Oh, that's what happens when you're messing around, guys. Nice one, really nice one. I was messing with my autopilot dead stick in it and I got a nice one here. Really nice fish, this is awesome. Number four bass and I finally got a decent fish on the drop shot. Oh, there's another one with him. Nice one with him. So who knows, it could have gone over a bed, but regardless, I got myself a decent fish. And the night is young. I still got time, too. Don't, I knew that was coming. Nice. <laughs> Check it out. Isn't that great? Okay, so the day is progressing. The evening is progressing, I should say. And we got another drop shot fish. So cool. Perfectly hooked. That's a beauty. It's going well. Number four. All right, I am in the shade. I'm in for four bass, one tiger muskie and a big old blow up on a snakehead but I still have the drop shot on my hand trying to find a sign out fish so the sun is dipping and there's been a bunch of bedded fish that just didn't want to play so I played with them a whole bunch but I'm even looking at one right here but I'm just going to drag this drop shot around until it's about that time let's see if we can find one more fish and we'll call it it's been a while since I've gotten a boat ramp sign out fish here we are at the boat ramp and there he is oh my lord <laughs> Oh, he gets off. Unbelievable. First cast over by the boat ramp. Let me check my robo worm. That was crazy. Right there. The second, almost the second to hit the water. Yeah, and he pulled the bait. That was a good one, guys. I can't even believe I lost that fish. It's a good long cast, and it's a light line and a light rod. Let's get back out there. See if we can get him again. Unreal. Oh my gosh, guys, there it is. <laughs> Unbelievable, I got my sign out fish and it's decent. That is so awesome, right here by the boat ramp and it's dark, it is dark, but I've milked it. And there's number five, number five, if I can get him in, I just hope he stays down, he's decent. That's so great. <laughs> Tiger muskie to start the day, big blow up on a snakehead and number five fish to call it a night. Let's go ahead and get this one in. Lights just right enough 
get one good look at it. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if I lost them last second, which is not going to happen. There it is, guys. Folks, as always, I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. Until we meet again, over and out.